eating ice cream, I see. Yes, I am. Is it working? A little. Oh, come here, my big baby. Okay, the baby's head's out. We just need one more push, Destiny. One more push. Just give me one more push. Baby, you can do this. You can do this. You got this. You got this. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. I know. I know. I know what hurts, baby. But you just one more push. And you got this. You got me. I'm going to see a beautiful baby boy. One more question, you're going to see a beautiful baby boy. Okay. Okay. I'm on my way. Dad, we gotta get going if we're gonna catch the movie before it starts. Oh. Ariel. What? What's wrong, Dad? Oh, please don't tell me we're going to the hospital to wait for Michael and Destiny's baby to be born, cuz... No. Sweetheart, I, I just got beeped too. No. You can't, Dad! I have a patient who needs me, and I have to do an emergency neurosurgery, and they don't have anyone else, Ariel. You promised, Dad! I know, but I'll make it up to you. No, Dad, just forget it. You always do this to me. Honey. <sighs> you got called in? Yeah. I told you not to make a promise to her. I know. Can you talk to her for me? Of course. Go. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alex <laughs> Uncle Jason <laughs> Where's your mother? They're pumping her stomach <laughs> She's gonna be alright Alex My sister Veronica is strong, you'll see Come here It's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Breathe in. Yeah, baby, you can do this. You can do this. You got this. You got this. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations, guys.
I'm so sorry, Jason. I'll keep your sister in my prayers. Damn, thanks, Wobie. Merry Christmas. Kissing you. He's a healthy, big, beautiful baby boy. He's eight pounds and seven ounces. Yeah! Yeah, that's my baby girl. The only thing that would make this moment perfect, even more perfect, is if mom was here. I know, son. I know. I know.
Hey Jasmine, hon. I'm done. Are you when are we ready to go home now? Yeah. Hey, what's wrong? Your grandfather, once again. Talk to me. That's just it, Richard. We've, we've already talked about it. I'm so happy for Michael and Destiny. They're married, and now they're a family. Just, no. Don't. I know that that will never be us. Let's just go home. So I had malaria. That's what caused all my symptoms and that's why I was having so much seizures. Yes, your high fever caused you to develop hydrocephalus, which caused your brain to swell with SS cerebral spinal fluid. So I then had to do a ventricular peritoneal shunt, VP for short, to relieve the SS fluid in your brain. And I am now treating you with dihydroanesinin to treat the malaria with an antibiotic, doxycycline, to kill the bacteria. Now it's all coming back to me. This is all my fault. I was so tired from my trip from Africa, I forgot to take my last dose of my anti-parasitic. Ugh. Phil, it is very crucial when you're traveling outside the country that you take the whole course of your anti-parasitic. I hope for your sake, next time you travel, you take your life more seriously now. Oh, trust me. After this hell, I'm never traveling outside the country again. Thank you so much for everything, Dr. Baker. You're welcome, Phil. Take care. So, you left Veronica for good. Yeah. It wasn't easy, but it was time. Well, I'm proud of you for standing up for yourself. Thank you. I'm just so glad that I could be the shoulder you could cry on this time. <laughs> yeah, because it's usually the other way around. <laughs> but, of course, I don't mind. I know. Speaking of which, um, there's gonna be a lot of crying going on at my house in the next six to nine months. What? You're pregnant? Again? Yeah. I took a test this morning and it came out positive. I'm so happy. I'm going to be an auntie again. <laughs> Does David know? Does the twins know? <laughs> um, yes, the, the twins know. And they're excited. And David finally picked up the phone and I told him everything. And, and he said that he will be there for me. And <laughs> that he wanted to come over and talk. It's about time he mans up. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, you were so close. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Seems like I'm always crying over some guy. Oh, that's because you love hard and you love deep. And I could just only hope that 
one day I can find someone who loves me the way that you loved Jake and the way that you love David. Oh, am I getting to you too? No. It's just stupid heartbreak freaking sucks. At least you got pregnancy hormones as an excuse. <laughs> hey, breakups are hard too, especially when you're still in love with them. You loved Veronica. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> wow, this is a first, us both crying at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Hello? What? Oh my goodness. Um, I'm on my way. Hey. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You shouldn't have. I didn't get you anything. Your apology is all I wanted and needed from you. Also, I want to apologize to you. For what? For leaving you at the hospital to go back to school. I should I should have never left you. It's okay. I get why you left. Then I forgive you. Thanks. But that's not all that I wanted to say. There's more. I'm sorry for being so judgmental of you and Diamond's relationship. Becca, you don't have to say this. I know. But I should have respected that you loved her and tried a little harder to get along with her. For your sake. And I'm sorry for that. Although we never really got along or agreed on many things, the one thing we did agree on was how much we loved you, Ben. Okay, is the uh, emotional speech over now? Because you're gonna make me cry. Open it. Boy. Wow. How did you get this? I deleted all the pictures of me and her together off my computer and Facebook. I saved this picture the night you posted it on Facebook for a possible Christmas gift. I wanted to give it to you last year for Christmas, but it just didn't seem like the right time. Do you like it? Like it? I love it. Thank you so much, Rebecca.
Hey, Dr. Baker. Hey, Tia. I just wanted to say good work with the malaria patient. You were phenomenal. No, we were phenomenal together. Aw, oh, thanks for saying that. You're welcome. Dr. Tone wanted me to ask you if you could stay no, on. No, I can't. I'm spending the rest of Christmas with my family. Okay, so you want me to tell him that? Yes. And if he has any questions or concerns, you can tell him to call my work cell and leave a message. And I'll get back to him when I can. Well, it's about time you spend the holidays with your family. I don't know anyone who works as hard as you do and, or deserves it more than you do. Don't worry about Dr. Tone. I, I got it. Thanks, Tia. Oh, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Dr. Baker.